Hello, everybody, true. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Verbe Hills, and guys, welcome to the last video of the day. This is going to be a quick video, quick tea coming from Miami, uh, and it's all about Alexia Cheveria. And we need to talk about it, but before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now if you are new here and you want to join the Verbe Troop. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys, and let's talk about this mess. I literally just did the recap of Miami this morning. I hope you watch it. If you haven't, go and watch it after you finish this video, please. Um, and one of the things that we were talking was this whole situation between Alexia and her soon-to-be husband, Todd, and, and her son, Peter, you know, and the whole fight that happened on the last episode. Guys, go and watch my video because I did a whole powerful reaction about that. But the only thing that I have to say here is that I agree with Todd. I think he did a great job. And, you know, that's exactly how we communicate in Latino families. But there was so much more that I said. So go and watch that video. Now, the tea that I have is that um, Todd actually came forward on social media and did a whole statement because, you know, there is a lot of um, criticism, you know, and but a, a, like a lot of opinions out there, you know, people saying that he went too far or people saying like, why was Frankie like in there all the time? Or like um, that he was right, you know, or like there is some different opinions, you know, so... He definitely needed to get in front of it. And I love him for doing that. And I'm just going to read you what he had to say. Okay. Life according to Todd. That's his Instagram. And he said, thank you all for the feedback. And we all appreciate it. Everyone's opinion is valid here. It was an awful situation. I just want everyone to know Frankie was not there while this argument took place. They sent him in to close the scene out. The entire scene was filmed over two hours, and this is what made the final cut. Peter and I were having a conversation alone. The argument came in what Alexia came over. In the end, this is something much better suit for a, a professional therapist, as I say. But that's not what this show is about. This is a real issue we have been dealing with for over four years. And they want us to talk about it on TV. That's not easy. I think the editing is fair as for sure. I'm super frustrated and feel up against a wall. And yes, I, of course, sympathize with Alexia and Peter's situation. In the end, it was worth it as it shook a few branches and is helping us all get better. We all do discuss this issue and it's a work in progress. There is no Team Todd or Team Peter. It's all for Frankie and Peter and Alexia. Do love this boy more than words can express. My trying to help as an outsider is tough and hopefully they will know it's my love for Frankie. But you are all right about the fact that Alexia, Peter and myself will do anything for Frankie. We are still learning how. How? Thanks for all the comments, the good and the bad. We need to hear it all. like bravo i mean i'm so sorry but that was one of the most honest statements that i have here again i'm gonna say that he was right he his delivery was poorly for some of you you know because you think that the screaming you know and and, and the whole thing but as Latinos, I can tell you this is that's exactly how we communicate in our families because that's the passion that we have and the love that we have for our families. And sometimes, you know, he came as an outsider. He came as an outsider into a dysfunctional family. I can tell you for like my own experience, it is hard because you have to be the one who break certain behaviors in order for everyone to grow up and be better you know so and he did it you know and he is still there 
this is not like a random boyfriend, like a one, two month Alexia's boyfriend. No, they have been on this for over five years. You know what I mean? So, I, I, I mean, I'm so sorry, but I think we literally have to applaud Todd. Uh, I think he's doing, he did a great job. And he was trying to use also tough love. Peter need a lot of tough love. Look where he is right now. He literally was arrested two days ago for domestic violence. So he hasn't learned anything. And probably it's because of Alexia, you know, because of Alexia's love for his son, you know? So it's, it's a very hard situation. I don't think there is wrong or wrong or right. It's just that they don't, they didn't have the tools to deal with all this. And now they're just learning and they're just getting the tools to become a better and healthy family. So I'm all here for it. Like I'm 100% uh, on team. Like he said, it's not even team Todd or team Peter or team Alexia. I think this is a whole team Echeverria or something like that, you know, because I just, I want all of them to be okay. Uh, Peter is in jail, or I don't know if he already, it's already out, but he was in jail for domestic violence. He definitely need to go to rehab. He definitely need to go to a program, apologize to this young woman, and, and he will have to live with that for the rest of his life. Um, but, it, like, what else? I mean, that's the only thing that, that they can do, you know? Like, keep growing, keep trying to be a family. And also for Frankie, because Frankie's going to live like that for the rest of his life. And honestly, overall, I'm please, please give Alexia a fucking happy ending. Like she deserves some calm. Like, girl, there is always something going on with her. Like, <sighs> anyways, so that's it. That's it for today. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below uh, about Todd's response. And before you leave, well, no, after you leave here, guys, if you haven't watched all my videos from today, go and watch it because there were some tea that you do not want to miss. We did a whole recap on the Real Housewives of Miami. We talk about Mary Cosby already trashing Real Houses of Salt Lake City. Uh, we talk about this huge, huge, huge rumor between Jen Shaw and Mary Marks. So you definitely want to watch that because it is intense, okay? And we talk about Shannon Bedore being afraid of her life after Heather Dubrow's uh, threat. So there was a lot. So make sure to go watch all the videos before this one. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. You can find me anywhere as the real, I'm sorry, so just real Andy BH, real Andy BH. And you can find me on TikTok, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, absolutely everywhere. Follow me, please. And subscribe, please. If you, if you are watching this and you are not subscribed, you need to subscribe right now because we are on our way to 30K. So subscribe and don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye. <laughs>